Leaves and the flowers, birds in the trees, nature's beauty, and things like these. Rivers and mountains, valleys so wide, stars in the heavens, the blue they are. Everyday artists, the old and the new, color each day a bright golden hue. Now that we know you, our story begins. Come and be with us, artists and friends. Da -da 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 oh, Miss Polly, hi. Hello, Rip. You know, I need to learn how to make some dough, Miss Polly. Oh, you mean some dough like we're going to make in art today? Well, you know, I went to the craft show and there's artists selling all their things they made over there for good dough. You get it? Money? <laughs> That's right. They, they sold things and there were wonderful craftsmen there. You know, I bought some things at that craft show too. Look at this beautiful bowl. A oh, wooden that's bowl. pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? It's walnut and then many kinds of wood. Uh, Brian Simpson made this bowl. Mm -hmm. Looks like he made it on a lathe. That's right. Now, here's a bowl that I bought at another place, but it's a handmade ceramic bowl, and it's been painted. Oh, I don't think you got that over the craft show, did you, Miss Polly? Well, this did come from Peru. I bought this at the art center. You can buy bowls like this in fine shops. Mm -hmm. But, oh, here's a treasure I bought. Do you know uh, Jim Cotty is a wonderful craftsman. He made this rolling pin. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's a pretty rolling pin. Oh, he makes the most beautiful furniture. He lives at Clinton. Makes lovely things. Do you know I even got these earrings from an art student? Earrings. Huh? Oh, isn't oh. that nice? I had a good time at the craft show. You know... Uh -huh. Miss Polly, what I wanted to know is, how could I learn how to make something out of dough? Well, I have the best idea. You see, you saw a lot of plaques, didn't you? Uh -huh. Well, today's art project is to make a little character like this. This looks not much like a gingerbread man, but kind of like a man. And then you paint the background on wood. And I, I've got some dough that you could use to make something. Would you like to see what I have? Oh, sure, Miss Polly. Well, this is in the teacher's guide, and I mixed it up ahead of time and mm -hmm. wrapped it in foil. Mm -hmm. And this is flour and salt. Flour and salt. You know... And it makes what... Look at that nice dough. See? Oh, isn't that nice? You know, Miss Polly, uh, I got some old wallpaper paste I got left over from paper in my kitchen, you know. Oh, that's really what I want. Oh, good. I got it right down here. Just oh, a minute. Oh, wonderful. Let me have that because that's that's just what I need. Yeah, there for... it is. Right. Wallpaper paste. Uh, you have some sawdust, don't you? I have some sawdust. You see, I've been sawing wood around here. I got me a whole oh, sack of it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Let me. Uh, 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 kind of heavy, Miss Polly. All right. Let's see it. Oh, okay. yeah, there it is. It's a bunch of it, too. Yes, you have it in a sack. Well, you know, Riff, I think I'll give you a job today. A job? Uh-huh. I have a sifter here. See, that sawdust has kind of got uh, some big pieces in it, see? Uh-huh. All right. Would you sift the sawdust for me? Oh, I'd be glad to, Miss Polly. You have a pan in there? Yeah, let me get one out of the kitchen All here right, just a minute. get the pan. Yeah, let's see. Here's a good big pan right there. All right. Now, there's a pan, and you just have to sift it because I need fine sawdust. And I have some over there, but I don't have enough. You just kind of... You think you can... Shake it like that? <laughs> Be a little bit careful. Yeah, yes. Now, that's what I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't sift quite so hard there. Oh, okay. All right. And, and thank you for this board. I need it, too. Oh, good. You can and, sure and have that. Paper just paste. No and, and here's your dough when you get to it. You okay. can make something, all right? Oh, okay, Miss Polly. Let me get on with this here. <coughs> it's kind of dusty, but I'll try it. He's really going to be a lot of help. Do you know there's a lot of things that you can make plaques out of? Now, let me show you a few of them. Uh, if you have fiber clay, this dries hard. You can mix it up, and you can do today's project with it. Or many artists use this, and it's kind of expensive. It's modeling. 
paste, and you can, oh, sometimes they're modeled right on a, a painting. But if you have modeling clay, like this, you can do the project that way. Or perhaps you have Play-Doh, which you look right here. The school artist made me some examples with Play-Doh. It's dried out just a little bit, but they placed it on the cardboard. But I think you'll like this project, so let me show you how to mix the wallpaper paste and sawdust. And, you know, this is something that you really can save by um, using sawdust because it's a throwaway uh, item, isn't it? All right, first you start with the water. I'm going to mix the paste. So I'll pour in as much water as I need for paste. You can mix this up ahead of time. Then you add, you stir it as you add it. And I found out water mixes a little bit. The paste mixes better if your water is warm. So gradually stir it in. And some people get a few lumps, but if you just keep working, you get the lumps out of it. All right, now stop and see what you have. Mix up your wallpaper paste. Then, let's look, let's take a bowl like this, and here is some sifted sawdust. Just like Rip's making me some sifted sawdust over there. Now, you mix your paste. It should be as about as thick as mashed potatoes. So we'll mix it in. And you stir it up like this. And let's add a little bit more to it. Now, when you get this all mixed up to a nice consistency, it will look something like this one. I have this one wrapped up in wax paper, and you can do this ahead of time. Another thing I found, if you want to be sure it holds together, add a little bit of white glue to it. Now, let's look at this. Let's go over here to the table. I want to move this plaque and show you how we make that little man. I have some wax paper here, and since we worked with the figure and we drew the face last uh, time, I think this is a good project to work on next. So take a ball of clay in your hand and make it into a round ball. Then place it on your table wherever you're working and flatten it out. Now this will be the head. And do you remember the shape of the head? It's sort of egg shape, isn't it? We want to have a flat type figure here. All right, there's the head. Now, let's make a torso. And the torso is the shoulders and the body. So I want to shape the shoulders, taper it down, and flatten it out. Now, this is very important. If you don't work a little bit, pushing it together, this is called welding when you're modeling. If you don't weld it good, it'll fall apart when it dries. So try to weld it good. All right, there's the top of the body. Now let's um, add a leg to it. Let's give him his legs next. If your hands get kind of sticky with this, I always keep damp ta uh, paper towels handy for that. All right, let's make sure, overlap it so it really does stick. Now I want you to remember Make sure that leg sticks to it so that you'll be happy with it when it's finished. Now let's put another leg on this uh, little man. He might look like a gingerbread man, or he might look like a, oh, uh, just a raggedy end doll, or perhaps you want it to make one look just like you. If you want to make a self-portrait with your modeling clay, that'll be fine too. There's a foot. Now then, when you're making this, it's a good time to look at one another and see your legs are longer than your arms, and where does the arm bend? And of course, you're not going to make a hand. You'll just have a kind of a rounded off arm here because hands are pretty hard to make. It's not necessary to carefully make a hand, but that's do make it bend right there. So you'll can practice thinking about where the 
arm bands. My head of my little man is a little bit larger than it really should be. I can put this other arm on here. Let's have this one bend a little bit and come down. You might bend your arm and see where your elbows come to. And that helps you get it right. Push it down, flatten it, pat it. You see, this makes a very good modeling medium. If you want to, you can make him have a nose come out. Let's put a little nose right here. And your eyes are sink in a little bit. And he already begins to have a mouth, doesn't he? You can add hair. But remember, any time you add a piece to it, make sure it sticks. You could even get your fingers wet and make it stick a little bit better. When you're all finished, it's a good idea to have a, a bucket with uh, towels in it so you can get all that sawdust off of your hands because even if you do have a sink in your classroom, you shouldn't use it because uh, this sawdust might clog up the sink. And now let's see, do I have a paper towel handy? After you have made your man, I have one here that's dry. So he's on wax paper, so it might be a good idea to show you how to paint him next. So let me move things over here. And we'll paint this little man next. He sort of looks like a gingerbread man right now. All right, now let me get my paints. And I need some water. And the next thing we want to do is to paint the man, make him look like a little man. And then we'll draw a picture on the back. So let's take this paint. Oh, I think just to show you, I won't have time to paint it. I want you to show you the concentrate tempera that I like to use. And this is black. And we can go ahead and put his eyes in, and I show you how you'd paint your little gingerbread man or whatever. Actually, the one that I have here looks a lot like, I think it looks a lot like Paul Bunyan. And I'm gluing him on to a, a wood that's been drawn with the background and everything. Do you know, I just wonder if Rip's doing pretty well on this project. I, I think I better go see how he's doing. Oh, Rip, you're still sifting sawdust. That's great. We'll have enough for everybody. Good, Miss Polly. You know, uh -huh. I've been thinking about what to make out of my dough here. Uh-huh. I just can't think, think what to make. I, I can't make a man. Oh, why don't you make a rabbit? A rabbit? Uh-huh. That would be a good idea. Well, make a rabbit out of it. Miss Polly, I'd love to, but I don't know what I look like. I don't even have a mirror in my house. Do you know? Maybe the everyday artist could help you. Oh, that'd be nice, Miss Polly. What could they do? They could draw. Would you draw Rip's picture? Would you help Rip? Would you draw a picture of a rabbit and would you send it to me? Yes. So, so yes. Rip could could do it. Oh yeah. I Ms. think Polly, they're going to help you, Rip. That's great. They oh. said they would draw a picture of you. Oh, good. And they put it in the mail. Let's get them to make it look just like this. That will be all you need. Leaves in the flowers, birds in the trees, nature's beauty, and things like these. Rivers and mountains, valleys so wide, stars in the heavens, be blue they are. Everyday artists, the old and the new, color each day a bright golden hue. Now that we know you, our story begins. Come and be with us, artists and friends. Da 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 da. -da. 